for our uh, fall instrumental concert. Um, we're gonna, this is the concert where we feature all of our uh, instrumental groups at Liberty. Um, and you get a chance to hear what uh, these students have been working on since school started. Um, the concert's kind of twofold. One is hopefully it'll be entertaining for you. We try. Um, but also, it's really a great chance to, you know, you hear your kids practicing at home, most of them. Um, and uh, <laughs> um, actually, these guys sound great, so somebody is practicing. I know that. Um, and uh, and it's great to come in here. You know, what is it? What's that stuff they're playing at home? And, and hear uh, what we've been working on together as a group. And uh, it's a rare chance to kind of get together and make music. Um, you'll notice I don't have programs tonight, so I'm going to give you a really clear rundown of, of uh, what to expect. Uh, we have four groups playing. Uh, we have a total of 12 songs that we're going to perform. Um, this is our string orchestra we're going to start with. We're going to play three selections for you. Um, the first one is an original work uh, by one of my favorite um, composers for uh, middle school and high school orchestra programs. His name is Richard Meyer. Um, this is a, a unique piece called Terra Nova. that the string orchestra would like to play for you is by um, one of the most famous composers from the Baroque era, um, Antonio Vivaldi uh, from Italy. Really, is probably the most uh, well-known Italian um, Baroque composer. Uh, he was a violin virtuoso, and he also um, spent a lot of his life training for the priesthood. Um, at some point in his life, he had to make a decision whether he was going to be a priest or a professional musician. Um, he kind of made a compromise in that he really chose the professional music path, uh, but he ended up teaching um, in an orphanage, uh, teaching music at a, a girls' orphanage um, that was uh, owned by the, the Roman Catholic Church. So he really got to, to still serve, serve his church uh, throughout his life. A lot of his music is for strings, obviously, and his most famous work is called The Four Seasons. It's a series of four uh, concerti, and um, each depicting one of the four seasons. Uh, we're gonna play maybe not the most familiar one. This is Autumn. We thought it would be appropriate. Um, and uh, hopefully some of you will recognize it. We're gonna feature a couple soloists, Eva Hoskins on violin and Samuel Dutois on violin.
dragons. person for, for band, um, he, uh, this is a piece that he wrote at the middle school level um, upon the birth of his daughter, um, and it's called Joy. So, he, and he's written two pieces on this theme. Um, it's his, it's his um, musical um, interpretation of, of joy, and I think you'll hear that in the music, the, the completely joyful theme. He also wrote another piece called Joy Revisited for a more advanced band. Uh, which I think we might look into to having the high school play. Um, so, we hope you enjoy. Joy. <laughs> Thank you. 
need to read this because uh, it's called Swahili Folk Hymn. Um, and it's, a, it's an African folk song. Let's see if I can. Uh, Buana Awa Bariki. Did I say that right? Who speaks Swahili? Here, okay. Um, see, I knew I was safe. Um, this is a uh, traditional folk song. Uh, it actually, let's see, what is the translation of that? Um, just a second. The translation is may, may God grant you a blessing, revere the Lord. Also, this song has become so popular in Africa over the years that it also has had uh, secular words. Uh, and those are thanks to our teachers. I liked those. Um, and peace to all nations. Um, so this is a well known in, in many countries in, in Africa, um, especially in the area of, uh, around Kenya. Um, and what we're going to do is we're going to uh, do our best um, uh, uh, version of traditional African music. So um, we study this in eighth grade music also um, with uh, in Africa. Percussion is a huge part of, of the history of African music, and um, most drumming groups are usually led by a drummer. They're not conducted, and there's a whole lot of um, improvisation and what's called call and response, where a leader will play something and then the group will play something back. And so you're gonna hear some of that in this, um, this really clever arrangement, um, but we're gonna improvise. And these guys have done so great, and imp improvising is not easy. It is making up music on the spot, if you didn't know that. Um, and so we have some improvisers on this. Uh, this obviously will feature the percussion section quite a bit, uh, but here are the soloists in this particular order. So that's what I needed to read. Um, and we have six soloists on this. Uh, we'll start with Carrie Babcock on trumpet, Bella Apodaca on tenor saxophone, Emma Fishbeck on clarinet, Paul Halley on flute, Kate Horst on clarinet, and, and Matthias Lovely on trumpet. Um, and then I'm gonna, in the true African folk music tradition, I'm not gonna conduct this. I'm gonna just go with me in the percussion section and keep a low profile and just play a little shaker uh, so that you can focus on these guys and, and what they're doing. Uh, so this is Swahili Folk Hill. Thank you. 